In this reaction, we have AgNO3 plus KBr. We're going to balance the equation. This is a double displacement reaction. The Ag and the K switch places. So you get AgBr and then KNO3. So this is double displacement, and this should be a precipitate. This AgBr should fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So let's balance it. We have one Ag, and we're going to do something to make this a little bit easy. We're going to count this nitrate here. This NO3 is just one group. We're just going to say we have one nitrate. We have one potassium and one bromine. On the product side, we have one of the silver atoms, one of the nitrate. And when we do these double displacement, it's often very helpful to count the polyatomic ions as just one item if you have them on both sides. We have one potassium and one bromine. And you'll notice right away that everything's the same on the products and the reactants. The coefficients are the same. So this reaction is actually already balanced. This is Dr. B with the already balanced reaction for AgNO3 plus KBr, silver nitrate plus potassium bromide. Thank you for watching.